Oh god, that civilian. Did it? Hold on. Did, did a civilian just die there? No, that was a corpse, right? Oh god. Did, did we kill a civilian? Oh, there's one more over there. Damn. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, damn it. Cat's gonna have to go back because that guy's gonna die to the fog of war. Oh, damn it. Bugger. Okay, well, Renee, okay. go there. Frenny, you've only shot once. You can go there. Hey, Frenny, And Gerard, you can start sprinting. Go. Again, two more civilians saved. What are you talking about? Air rush reload. And we are going to have two rapid reactions on guts and friendly. Oh, but that is really stupid about that civilian. Oh, man. Please don't die this turn. Please. Well, give me an overwatch and let's see what comes of this. Cyberdisc. Yes, I know. Oh, God. Here we go. Friendly hit. And Renee and the Muton missed. Ah, missed. I'm More rapid reactions. Back. Hit. And hit. Oh, very nice. So one more on friendly and two more on guts. And here's the last one for friendly. One dead Muton. We'll get you back to the bridge. Freeze. Nice job, friendly. God, two more civilians again. Oh, God. Is that guy dead? We well, you not know can't get the civilian. We forgot about him. Sorry. Boom. Oh, no, there he is. He was just invisible. Well, our command is on cooldown. Move up Frank. Okay. Then you Elbrash in full cover. Still no contacts. Actually, Guts, that would be a great place for you because of your rapid reactions. You have three more shots left because you've got an auto cannon. Oh, what a great choice of Rocketeer. Move there. And we're going to have two more rapid reactions on Elbrash and Guts. And Perry, you know what? I'm, I'm putting you out of this. You need to save these civvies. I'm not going to lose people just because I forgot about them. And if I move you up, you're going to lose sight of these civvies and they can die. So grab that one. And hopefully get line of sight of this one. Great work. But you're not saving anybody at the minute. So, motion tracker or TK field? Uh, I say go with a motion tracker. Or should we? We've got a couple of floaters and a muton. Pal, you could move up and hunker down in half cover. Yeah. Give me a battle scanner. Make sure that we're not going to walk into a cyber disc. Go boop. Sweeping. Hello. Overwatch, you say? And more chrysalids. Oh, very, very glad I battle scanner there. And there's a disc. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah. And I was going to move up with Pal right here. So we would absolutely trigger that cyber disc. And even maybe, maybe we trigger those chrysalids. This line is that floater at the front. But yeah, that is lucky. You know what, Gerard? Just take the high ground. And one contact. Who you got eyes on? <laughs> the drone. Thanks. So yeah, these two floaters are active. And I'd rather not take on a cyber disc pod as well as a chrysalid pod. And friendly, you're our officer. Yeah, go into full cover. And you can reload there. And that leaves me with you guys. You're going to be all clumped up for a tasty grenade. So let's set up a Ready nice for welcome for them. Oh, Muton. That's your last shot. You know what? You reload. Aye, aye, and pal. With a pistol. So we've got two rapid reactions, neither with opportunist, and two standard overwatches. And in fact, that'll be the last shot that Renee can make, because he is going to have to keep a shot for that disabling shot. Oh, Guts, your grenade is terrible. You do not have an angle on this side. Well, kind of maybe a little bit, but it's not good. You know what? Just give me an overwatch. overwatch. Don't move up yet. Don't move. No, I said don't move right, up yet. Okay, Elbrush and Guts. Miss. Miss. There goes those rapid reactions! Oh crap. Pal with the pistol. Miss. Shocker. That is not good. And Renee. Looks like a hit. Hit. Well, at least that's something. My ammo's running low. Chris needs to move back, I hope. And the floaters, what are you gonna do? Move back. You're going to shoot. No, that you waste your turn. You. Move back. Are you going to shoot? You waste your turn. <laughs> it's looping around. Are you in range of that car, per chance, Cyberdisc? I think you are. I think you are in range of that car, buddy. And you're landed. Oh, that is really unfortunate for you. Please tell me you've got a rocket. Please tell me you've got a rocket. Oh, well, kind of, I guess. That civilian's already dead, so it's not like he cares. Hmm. Shredder or not Shredder? Makes no difference on the drone, he's one hit away from death. You know what, shred him. He's landed, which means he's easy to hit. And not to mention we can block that car with a collateral damage or side strike. Go on, shred him. Two tiles scatter. 
Bringing Don't kill any civvies, though. I see them here. Their drone. Massive damage on the side disc as well. Cats start dashing up. You didn't save anybody. You didn't save anyone at all. And Perry, I kind of need you for the chrysalids. Actually, though, Gerard. Hello. Oh, my God, Gerard. No need for that collateral damage, then. And on the floater as well. Oh, my God. You are amazing, Gerard. You know what, Elbrash? You got shots on that cyber disc. Gerard's got shots on the cyber disc and the floater. So give me a cyber disc, then. Actually, where's that drone? We had we had an extra drone. That was a cyber disc and two drones. And we only killed one. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he'll show up somewhere. We got two 90s on a shredded cyber disc. I think that's minimal damage. You've got one shot left. Ah, oh, screw it, go for it. Good damage. And you have got eyes on both as well, Frank. Give me an 88 on that cyber disc. Did not kill. I'm stunned. And we have no more cover. We have no more cover. Actually, hold on. Oh no, side strike is still on cooldown. Ouch. So assuming we kill this cyber disc, there's two floaters and a drone. And actually, why don't you have eyes on him? Oh, that pump's in the way. Yeah, great, thanks. Mutom, stand all the way back here. Try and get a kill on that cyber disc. If you can, Gerard will absolutely take out that floater, which will leave a floater and a drone. And if it's just them, they'll not be able to move up far enough to all hit you and kill you. So let's take out that cyber disc. Yeah, you got line of sight. Go there. A 70 to kill. Nice work, soldier. You didn't kill any civvies, did you? Oh, God. That poor civilian. Okay, Elbrash, here is your 20 XP. Boom. Oh, and right, that, that drone's there. That drone was there all along. Oh, okay. Mm, right. Well, you know, that drone's not going to be able to kill a mutant. My God. They might have hold targeted him now, but they're not that powerful. And you can actually see both. Hey, that's handy. And now that we've got room, friendly, you can move up and do some rapid reactions overwatch, which would be very handy for those chrysalids. And Renee, you've got a shot on that drone. You know what? The drone's not a threat. Start with the floater. Two 100s. Oh, my God, Gerard, you beast. One floater left and one drone. So Gerard, if you would please, boop him. Four damage! What? What was that hit? God, I was actually tempted to move up with Renee and take a 94 to hit. I guess I won't be doing that now. Position Renee, move confirmed. up. Friendly, move over. And what we got left? Pistol and a marksman rifle. All oh, right, and Perry, you need to run up. Although the chrysalids are on the right, so you need to go over here. God, and you really, really need to reload. Screw it, one thing at a time. Move Dash there. Out. Oh, God, you didn't grab that civilian. Cat, I know what your job is next. Let's hope that civilian doesn't die. Okay, Gerard's got eyes on him from the top of this truck. Brilliant. Okay, that civilian's safe. Renee, you reload. Otherwise, you'll need out of ammo after you overwatch. Back online. That leaves a pistol overwatch and a rapid rations opportunist overwatch. Don't Show me I what you got. Commander. What's she going to do, little drone? Waste your turn. Fine with me. And the chrysalids. Did we trigger them? No, we didn't. Wow. Yes, floater. Oh, buddy, why, why are you there? Come on. Here we go. Friendlies. Never mind. Hey, take those things out. Oh god, that civilian. Did it? Hold on. Did, did a civilian just die there? No, that was a corpse, right? Oh god, did did we kill a civilian? Oh, that's not good. I'm sure I'll show in the replay. And if we did kill a civilian, even by accident, from Guts' rocket. Guts, you you are getting a medal. First thing first, though, Cat, save that oh, civvy. Shit. Poor guy's been waiting there this, this whole time. And we've got three shots in Friendly's gun. And there are chrysalids over here. I'm actually thinking, put Friendly on opportunist rapid reactions. Ideally over here, actually, which you can't get to. Although you can't step out to the right. And Gerard, you've only got one shot left. Ah, you know what? If it's just this drone and those chrysalids, Friendly could just stand out of cover. That's way too risky. What's your line of sight like down here? You know, I think if we trigger those chrysalids, you're okay to shoot. So do that. Go on to Overwatch. Don't worry. And we're going to send a little scout down there. The question is who? You know what, Mutom? Do you have anything better to do? Move up. Didn't trigger the chrysalids. That's definitely not great. Okay, then, pal. I don't really have much more than this. You move up. Heading there now. And chrysalids. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All charge forwards. Oh, they're not charging forwards. But friendly. Oh, he's got lightning reflexes. Ah. Freaks. Yep, freaks. 
Absolute freaks. Damn. They have run off. They have run off. Oh no, that's that's really not good. They're gonna be inside that store making zombies. And oh, you're two tiles out of range to be using close encounters. You know what? Run and gun. Moving to firing position. Getting close. Show me those chrysalids. Maybe we can rocket them. Heading there now. Eyes on, please. No eyes on. And your rocket is yeah, well out of range. Okay, well, El Brash, you got a 68 and a 54. Considering you got armor, go for you, and then you can reload. Good hit. And then reload. Rock and roll. Gerard, you got one shot left. Honestly, I prefer if you just reloaded. And pow, let's not kid ourselves. Shotgun to the face. Good hit. Muton, go for the drone. I think you got a higher chance to hit. 60 and 70. Kill the drone, please. Nice work. Another 20 XP for you, Elbrash. And that leaves that chrysalid. Frank, move over. Chance to hit. 88. Please kill him. You missed him. Oh, you missed Damn him. It, missed the target. Oh, you you definitely missed him. Wow. Renee, you've got a 90. Go there. Don't get any close range bonuses with that marksman rifle. Oh, you do. Yeah, you're one tile in range. 88 to hit. Well, you hit him. Man, one damage left. God, if you were one more tile in range, you might be able to close encounter him. Oh, but Perry's got to reload for the other chrysalids. So I guess Will that do. means guts. Move up. Take a 100 hit. Kill. Ammo. Perry, okay. move up and reload. And Gerard, you reload as well. Because there's bound to be some zombies out there now. Oh, what we got? Chrysalid. That'd be a zombie in a second. Hey, Chrysalid. So we've got three Chrysalids on the map. And this must have been a zombie that turned into a Chrysalid. What are the chances that we can end this right now? Considering Powell doesn't have run and gun, not likely. Gerard, no shots. Powell, move up. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, we've got eyes on you. Please, Gerard, tell me you got a shot on him. Oh, you don't have a shot. And of course, we've got one more Chrysalid in here. Elbrash, you've got two 80s on him. Is this Chrysalid not active? Why can't we see his outline? Oh, yeah, nobody's got eyes on you. How do we even see you? Oh, God, Powell, you're in range of that Chrysalid. I really hope not. You know what, Elbrash? I need you to shoot, but I need you to move up as well. Muton, let's start off with you. You can see him from there. Shoot that guy. 64 to hit. Wow. Yeah. Mm. About that. Elbrash, I guess you're going to be taking two shots on this guy. Two 80s. Minimal damage. Well, they both hit. They did both hit. Man, that chrysalid is sneaky. Nobody has eyes on him. Wow, that's really difficult. Really, really difficult. Pow, could you potentially hit a 64? Oh, nice work, buddy. Nice work. Although we do need to watch out for the other chrysalids that might be in range of you. So, friendly, move up, and you're going to be on Overwatch. I'd love to have Guts on Overwatch as well, but hes he doesn't really have the ammo for it. Perry, blue move. Frank. Renee. And Guts, I guess, you just move up and reload. Move Go on then. Ready reload. To engage. Everybody else, give me an overwatch. Alright, and Cat, get moving then, I guess. Maybe you'll get a kill. Got... Yeah, everybody else on overwatch. You are now protecting Powell here. Don't know if these chrysalids are going to be in range to hit him. If there's a chrysalid behind this wall, he'll definitely be in range to hit him. So, take aim with your best shots. Okay, another zombie. So, zombie and two chrysalids. Frank? Oh, very, very nice hit. Unfortunately, not good enough. Didn't sound like a kill. Here comes a zombie, though. Friendly, if you would like to. You've got three shots, 97 hit. First shot, and it's a crit, because you've got opportunist. Just kill him outright, go on. Or not, don't worry about it. And that Chrysalid, what's going on with him? Okay, pal, move up. Yeah, go on and move up. Yeah, there's that chrysalid. I don't know why you weren't active. And God, that zombie is running. Oh, he's going to be right there, isn't he? Oh, God. Damn it. Gerard, you got shots? No, you don't. 
Perry, you can run and gun to here and rapid fire that guy. And what can we do about that other muton? He is just running. If we can get collateral damage on that wall, then maybe we could do something? You know what, let's assume he's here. Let's assume he's there by that door. We could run and gun to here and take a shot at him. But how do we finish him? Frank, you can run a gun, but you can't get close enough to get eyes on him. You won't know an angle. Not while this wall's in the way. We do have a rocket though. God, am I really gonna do that? Am I really gonna rocket that wall? That seems really dangerous with Pal there. Okay, okay, let's see. Perry can rapid fire run and gun that one from here. Guts can fire a rocket at that wall, although it's too tight, will scatter, and it could very, very easily hit Powell. While Powell, got even running gun in there, is gonna be very easy friendly fire. And then Frank running guns to here, and with extended range, hits that chrysalid. Assuming he's there. So you know what? Let's start off with that. Oh, there's no running gun. Powell doesn't have a running gun. Of course he doesn't. Well, damn it. Okay, well, this is a free shot. Take it. Seeing as you don't have a running gun, what we're going to do, save that rocket that might end up hitting you, blow this open. Frank, Moving to run and gun position. to here. Hopefully you'll be in range to see him. Don't know if you will. Oh no, you're not in range to see him. I mean, that's assuming he's there on the other side of that window, which seems to be just out of range, maybe? We you know what, Perry, we all know what your job no is going to be. Run and gun to here. Give me a rapid fire on you. 298s. Nice work. Good wins. Oh, Muton. Actually, you can move further. I forgot about you. Sprint up. Okay. There he is. There he is. Okay. 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 That's, that's something. That is definitely something. Let's get rid of this cover. Frank will be able to finish him off. Guts, do not miss. Launching. Very nice, buddy. Very, very nice. And even with that, I think Gerard might be able to move down. Or not. Or not. He can just shoot from there. But you know what, Frank? You earn this. You earn this. You took the risk. You were dashing up. Although, you know, so was Powell. You were dashing up. You take the kill. 78 to end this mission with six CBs dead. That's actually, that's actually quite a lot. Yeah. Boop him. Chuck up and and there we go. Acceptable. 14 civilians out of 20. What? Again, that's wrong. That is definitely wrong. Well, whatever. I'm sure I'm showing on the screen what the actual civilian count was. But yeah, that is the end of Heavy Descent. Man, that that was that could have ended really badly. That chrysalid was just running off for his life. He tried to make as many new babies as he could. But in the end, we did it. It was a flawless mission. or well, flawless for XCOM. So Perry and Pal will be heading on to the next mission, the Cobalt mission. Let's head home, guys. We did as good a job as we could. And, man, yeah. Eight days for El Brash. I'm pretty sure he was six days fatigued. 12 days for friendly. That is, that's double. That is as bad as it could have been. Although, to be completely honest, he had six days of fatigue. Another six days on top of that, if he was going on this mission fresh, I think we basically broke even there. We had six days of him being out. This is another six days on top of that. So, yeah, I would say that was breaking even. But El Brash, on the other hand, I would say, yeah, we, we did well. We only gained an extra two days of him being out. Renee, I think, was on four days of fatigue. So, again, we broke even there. Assuming we rolled very well on the fatigue. And then there's Guts. Wow. Oh man. 17 days. I'm pretty sure you had five days fatigue. That is, that's really, really bad. All these breaking evens and gaining that we did here, we lost it all with Guts here. That tripled his time out. Anyway, Perry, what are you getting, buddy? Automated threat assessment, give you 0.5 DR and gives you 15 defense when overwatching rubbish, not considering it. But then, weapons expert or bio skin? Well, bio skin is kind of the default option, but weapons expert, that is certainly a possibility because that would mean you could take an LMG. You have running guns so you can move and shoot with it and you're the soldier with probably the most amount of mod shot perks. You've got rapid fire, close encounters, and you will get hit and run, as well as plus one damage with each of those shots with Ranger. Would Bioskin do anything for you? Probably not. Would Weapons Expert do anything for you? I don't know. You're going to lose out on the close range aim bonus with shotguns, especially when using rapid fires, but it would definitely help out with hit and runs, shooting targets at range, which hit and run with a shotgun really isn't that great. So you know what? Yeah, I think I'll turn you into an LMG assault, which means, man, yeah, we definitely need another LMG. Boop that. On its own, useless, but it now means that you can run and gun with an LMG and also rapid fire with it and use close encounters with it and later on hit and run with it all doing plus one damage. God Perry you are a beast. Then we got guts, repair not good for a rocketeer, neural dampening not good in general and then jumpy legs with one turn cooldown. I mean I suppose. Yeah I guess just go for that. Boop. 
and then Renee. Right, you need to get combined arms back here. Then, shop absorb an armor. Nope, because you use a marksman rifle, so you won't be up close. So mind merge or aggression. Now you do have double tap, and you will get close encounters, and I'll give you a sawn off shotgun. Yeah, I guess go for aggression. Mind merge is definitely handy, but I think plus 10 crit chance on every single shot, assuming there's only one alien in range, that I think is gonna be better. All oh, right, I can't click that yet. I need to give you that in the barracks. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, we got one sectoid, two floaters, three mutons, cyber disc, seven chrysalids, and a drone. I'm guessing we blew a drone up with a rocket or something. As well as 14 Illyrium, 16 alien alloys, 14 weapon fragments, and seven meld. Not bad. Panic in Canada has increased. Panic in North America has increased. We will touch, 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 Commander. Increase to what? Ooh. I don't think Canada's at risk of leaving the council yet. I think there's only a chance they leave at the end of the month when the panic is above the halfway point of the last chevron. So I don't think they can possibly leave yet. Not to mention they'd have to leave at the end of the month. So yeah, that's that's close. Thankfully, the armor rating on Canada is, I guess, better than average. And there you go. Combined arms by the console. You had double tap, and now you're gonna get aggression. Boom. Okay, we are back. I've installed a mod that changes the probability of the soldiers that you recruit to be female, default being 25%. I've increased it to 100% so that the next soldier that we recruit will be female so that Cat will actually be the right gender. But I've already checked it in another campaign and it doesn't actually seem to work. Before I installed the mod, I hired 10 soldiers and two or three of them were female. And after I installed the mod, I hired 10 soldiers and actually only one of them was female. So not the mod not working is actually making the probability go down it just seems to not work at all so either way all right we don't have any money for that well let's sell some junk let's sell yeah we'll sell a few mutons that'll do four mutons hire a soldier cat i hope it's you because if it's not then I, I don't know i'm sorry you you went through a sex change on the way over i don't know i tried to make it work well here we go We'll find out in a day if it is actually cat, or at least if it's female cat. So, covert operation in two days time. Drone autopsy done in one day. We're doing another motion tracker. I forgot about that. So, oh, interceptor. Oh, right, we hired one. And you are Tiger Lou. Do we have any laser cannons available, maybe? No, no. And Stingray missiles are rubbish. You know, the air game is, uh, it's not great. But in half a day, we'll have three aircraft in Africa, and we've got four in America. Anyway, keep spinning the clock and drone autopsy. And we get hollow targeter and field repairs. With this, we can build a hollow targeter, which we can put into a ship's inventory so that whatever they fire at gets hollow targeted so that anybody else that shoots it, of course, gets plus 10 aim to hit. So yeah, maybe we'll build one. And foundry project. With this, we can do repairs on any mechanical units, shivs, and mechs using the arc thrower. But of course, it uses up the arc thrower charges. So not a good idea to do. And how expensive is that? Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose it's not terribly expensive. It's just a bit of everything. 100 is not cheap, that's for sure. But 10 Illyrium alloys, meld, 5 weapon fragments, and another 5 drones. Yeah, that's kind of pricey for something I'm probably not going to use. But that hollow targeter, I do want that. It is handy. It is definitely handy. Because hollow targeting is not a perk that has shown up much in the perk tree. So yeah, I'll get that. Thin man, thin man, thin man. And one hollow targeter, please, Shen. Boom. And keep ticking over the clock. Oh, whoa, 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 research. Yep, I lost about an hour's worth of research. Let's move down the line. We've got sectoid, we've got drone. Then let's move on to thin man. Then I guess we'll skip ahead to muton. And then at that point, we'll have to do alien biosubnetics to get floater and seeker, which we really need because floaters have cover and fire. But thin man for now. We'll take three days and five thin man corpses. Varlin, if you would please... This tall reptilian has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Woman. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to conceive that. However, on closer inspection of its internal organs, we believe the sex of this particular specimen to be a man. Woman. Man. Woman. I am abducted and I believe this is a man. Motion tracker, please. Or India would like five sectoid corpses. And we have 10. We only have 10? Eh, take them. Give me one scientist. Boom. Motion tracker, thank you. A new soldier has arrived. So, while the screen darkens, let me see who it is, or at least who it was. Cat, I'm sorry, I really am. I don't know what happened to you over transport, but you went from being a white woman to being a black man. I, I don't know. Big Sky is, is really messed up. Did you see the, the landing site that he dropped us off in that terror mission? He doesn't know what he's doing. He really doesn't. I, I apologize. I do. Well, Cat, welcome to the squad. Your perk was aggression, and you need to get, I believe, for doing a terror mission, I think it's like 200 XP. Unfortunately, you need 
to go out on a mission before you can do that. Either way, for now, there you are. Minimum health, above average mobility. I believe that's below average will, I think. I think average is 35. And below average aim. Not a good start. Anyway, we have got a covert operation. Is it a covert extraction where we can try to kill all the exult? Assuming it's the right kind of map, or if it's a bad map, we're just going to be running for our lives. Or is it a covert data recovery? Let's find out. Okay, well, data recovery we in a settlement. Forward. So, guys, that is the end of the episode. Cat, I apologize again for the sex change. Okay, I'm recording this after I actually recorded the entire episode. A couple of things. Cat, yes, I found a way to make you a woman. And damn it, I'll make a woman out of you if it's the last thing I do. Which couldn't sound creepier. Basically, we've paid 25 credits for her recruitment cost. So that money has been spent already. But what I decided to do was simply hire 10 more soldiers. So I used the console to give myself an additional 250 weapon fragments. Then sold them to give myself 250 credits. And then used that to hire 10 soldiers. And they'll be arriving in a day. And then from those 10 soldiers, I will pick whichever one is female, dismiss the other nine, as well as this cat, and then replace them. Done! Easy, simple, or not simple at all. But anyway, I'll sort that out. One more thing, because Michael Frank is bugged out, we weren't told that he leveled up as he's got this question mark thingy here, because his random rookie perk was run and gun, and the game kind of stuck him into being an assault when he wasn't. But anyway, because of that, we weren't told that he leveled up, and we've got ranger plus one damage, and no accuracy loss when using pistols, and considering he doesn't have any mod shot perks to take advantage of a plus one damage with each shot, as well as not being able to use a pistol because he's got an LMG, this is kind of useless, which leaves repair servos or its counterpart, adaptive bone marrow. Now the bone marrow is infinite health regeneration, but only to the health part of his health, not his armor, whereas repair servos is heal up to half of his health lost, including his armor. So I guess for really long missions, bone marrow would be better, but those tend to be the exception. I think what I'm going to go for is repair servos, because with this he can at least heal back some of his armor, reducing the time he's going to spend the med bay if he gets hit again. Whereas adaptive bone marrow won't kick in until he's already reached that threshold when he's going to spend time in the med bay. So yeah, I guess repair servos. Oop. And back to other me then. And guys, let me know in the comments below who you think should be promoted to be an officer with good reason. All the people that I suggested are on the screen now, as well as the timestamp going back to when I was talking about which and why should be an officer. So guys, that is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let anybody else know if you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you guys back here next time for more XMW Long War II pets. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and... Then run. Get out of here. Oh my god, look at all those military. Oh, they know. They know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs>